Hello everybody, welcome to another video on YouTube. You are watching an India Roy's channel and I myself is an India Roy. Today I am going to show you how to set limits of a variable in Scratch. Okay, so first of all let's open up a Scratch editor. For that type Scratch, press enter, open up the Scratch site then click on the create let it open the editor yeah here is the editor now many times you would want a variable to have its various limits suppose if you want to make a um, number of uh, suppose number of points lost um, yeah uh, Ha, yeah, so the number of points lost by suppose this scratch, okay, so you'd want it to be set to suppose 100 and after that if it lo loses the point then you would not want it to increase any further. It, uh, this thing um, happens in various in various conditions of our game making okay so in many cases we uh, wanted to have their limit suppose in this uh, we I want this scratch to say the numbers numbers accordingly but uh, I want I don't want it to say numbers after hundred so what will I do first of all to make him say the numbers I'll make a variable let's name it say numbers okay then press OK so here is the variable say numbers now um, when the green flag is clicked actually I'm making the script then it's for the scratch this cat um, uh, yeah, it should forever say, um, yeah, only say uh, the numbers. So for numbers, we are going to keep the variable here. Yep, and um, here it is. Uh, the variable we have to set it first of all we have to set it to zero okay so without zero it will be continue from where it has left now let's check what he says zero it, it will only say zero because we haven't made it to say the number zero one two three four and likewise like that so we'll have to first of all change the say number variable accordingly okay yeah so we will make it to set a uh, no, uh, no change say numbers by one and then wait one second so when we use this then first of all it will say zero which is the basic um, the beginning number then we he will change it the say numbers will change to one then he'll wait one second until otherwise he'll continuously speed uh, in a great speed he will say all the numbers and um, will not be able to see this so he'll ha he needs to wait one second then after waiting one second he'll again be say the same numbers for we'll have used the forever block you can see this sign this means that after ending it will again go here so I'll forever say it if now if we click it he will say zero one two three four five six seven eight nine ten and likewise he will go with uh, it will go forever now suppose I want and wait when he say 13, why is the say number 14? It uh, will have to um, give wait one second here also. Um, yes, now it should work perfect. One, two, three, or basically it's a lag. It's waiting two two seconds. So we don't want that. We can only be satisfied with this. We don't need this to see this variable. We don't. We are only mean by this. 
so it will say it forever it doesn't matter uh, how much time uh, goes out he will say it forever suppose if I change 0.5 then he will say it a little faster and you can say that it will go up to infinity he will say it infinitely it says faster if I change it to 0 0.1 it will say it even faster yeah it's like a time you see so it will goes on forever now suppose we want uh, we don't want this to say numbers after 100 so what will we uh, do well for that you'll have to grab another when flag clicked block then you have to get an forever block then you'll have to take an if block if so when you get this you, it should look like this then you will have to go to the operators then get an equals block then press uh, keep it in the if after that here you have to take the same numbers variable keep it in one in the first box and then to change it to 100 if say it was 100 now we have to put some condition we can change it to set same number to maximum so it will be the maximum limit of this okay yeah now let's check whether it works or not it'll say the number is still 100 it's basically like a time only but it's just to demonstrate it you yeah it says to maximum and then um, and then yeah it turns it to M N N. so after maximum because there is nothing so he'll he's telling this okay so basically the thing which is happening is that forever when the green flag is clicked forever if the same number which is continuously increasing by one reaches hundred then he should set this to maximum and he should not increase the set variable anymore so so that uh, the increasing variable will pause here he'll not increase it anymore so this is how you can set the limits of a variable now suppose you have got a slider variable okay so to get a slider variable just uh, make this variable visible then right click it uh, no in the variable right click it take keep it in the middle of the keep the cursor in the middle of the um, variable then click on the slider so you here you have got the slider variable and you can see that it uh, the sliders value goes only up to 100 and the minimum value is 0 okay now suppose you want to set the limits of the slider variable now uh, suppose you want the upper limit to be 1000 or the uh, limit uh, the minimum limit to be minus 1000 so what you will do here well you can right click in the slider then you have to click the set slider min and max max this means the slide sliders minimum and maximum value so here you will get a window and here you can set the minimum and maximum value of the slider suppose here in the minimum you want it to be negative thousand um, and the maximum remains uh, 100 so here you can see when you slide it its upper limit is 100 and then the minimum limit is minus 1000 suppose I can change it to um, uh, 10 10 to 100 I can also do this and by this the you can set the minimum and maximum limit set the minimum and maximum limit of the slider that's it now uh, the slider variable is very useful when you are um, limiting when you are limit using it for the volume yeah now I should um, give you an example suppose when the flag is clicked um, go to sounds play sound mu <coughs> So when you click it, you can see that it plays the sound mu. Okay. 
Yeah. Now, now suppose we are, I want him. Uh, I want this cat. No. Suppose I want to set the volume, uh, volume of the sound in which he will play the sound mu. So how can I do this? Yeah. I can go to for. I can grab a forever block and I can use the same number variable to set the volume. Yes, I'll show you how to do it. Forever set volume. Um, here is a yeah here set volume to same numbers percent. So here you can set the volume of it. Suppose I can change the minimum one to zero and uh, now by sliding this you are gonna set the volume if you set it to zero you will see, uh, you will hear no sound and um, if you set it to uh, this hundred then yeah you will be able to hear the sound so by this you are gonna set it to uh, set the volume of the uh, mu this mu sound okay so this is one of the example where the slider variable is used it's also used to sometimes regulate the quality of the display of the game uh, especially in some 3d games made in scratch so yep that's all about setting the limits of the um, this variables in scratch this is how you can and oh wait 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 I'm gonna show you. I showed you how to uh, no, normal read out. How to set the limits of the maximum limit of the variable. Now I can. I'm gonna show it how to set the minimum limit of the normal variable. Now to set the normal variable, it's just like that only. Uh, the minimum limit. Suppose we can set the same numbers to hundred. And we can make the cat to say the say numbers forever say say numbers okay and then we can make it to change the same numbers by minus one negative one and we can make him to wait 0 0.1 second okay now when we do it he will say then the numbers in descending order and after he reaches zero he will go even negative means in the negative way you can see minus negative 25 26 blah 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 now suppose we don't want him to say numbers after zero so to do that it's the same it's just the same how we set the maximum limit uh, when clicked forever if so it, it will be when the green flag is clicked forever if and we have to get an equal block same number is equal to um, it is say number is equal to zero then set no not set, yes set this to minimum minimum so by this he will not say numbers after hundred uh, let's see whether he says it or not this just to assure you it because he is not gonna say yeah here you can see he's, he didn't say numbers after zero so that's how you set the maximum and minimum limit I hope this video helped you a lot and if you really find this video helpful uh, please subscribe the, please subscribe my channel share my video and comment your queries in below and also you can yeah that's it you can and also please like this video because I haven't found any video on YouTube telling how to limit the variables if I type how to set variable limit in scratch
then there is no video on YouTube which tells you how to uh, set the limit of the variable so this is a unique video and yeah that's it bye bye